guys I know that it has been a really really long time since my last video at all like I've not done a sit down video in like months and months but I thought that I would film another one for you today finally because I've really been missing it a lot so I thought that I would show you my everyday makeup look this is basically what I do sometimes I like change it up depending on how I feel for the day I hope that you like it and it was really really fun to film hopefully I'll be filming more sit down videos soon because I really really missed it and I really want to film some like DIYs or something like that so yeah moisturizing my face I use the fit me concealer by Maybelline in the shade 15 fair Claire as concealer for my skin and I put that underneath my eyes and on any blemishes that I might have on my face at that time I then just blend that out with my ring finger and make sure that I don't completely rub it into my skin because it will eventually be covered by the foundation <music> After I've done that, I take my Dulux Crease Brush by Real Techniques, which is actually an eyeshadow brush, and my Australis Contouring and Highlighting Kit in the light complexion, and I just create a really, really harsh line on my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. This creates a really natural contour once the foundation is actually placed over my skin. Now onto foundation, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. And I'll be honest, I don't use this exact foundation every day, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I like a lighter coverage, but today I felt like using a more high coverage foundation. So basically I just kind of blend this into my skin, I don't really have a proper way of doing it, I just kind of slap it onto my face and really try and make it an even coverage. I then take my Real Techniques Multitask Brush which allows me to kind of blend out the skin a little bit more to make sure that I've got a really even coverage if I miss some with my foundation brush. I also make sure to blend it down onto my neck because let's be honest, nobody wants those foundation lines on the bottom of their chin. Next, I'm going back in with my AC on Tour Contouring and Highlighting Kit and my Real Techniques Multitask Brush and I'm just creating a light contour over my cheekbones and my temples to accentuate what I'd already done beforehand. For blush, I'm using my Revlon blush in the shade 1 O Baby Pink and I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks and unfortunately this blush is not very pigmented so you do need to do quite a few coats to actually make it stand out. When I can be bothered I like to highlight my cheekbones so I am going to be doing that today so I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready 505 Impressionist Highlighter and this is a really really pretty highlighter but it also isn't very pigmented. To set all my face makeup I use the Arbonne Setting Pretty Translucent Powder and this is obviously a translucent powder so it can be used for any skin tone which is really really good because it makes it really versatile and it also is very very pretty because it creates like a shimmer on your face so if you like a shimmery powder then this powder is definitely for you. Moving on to brows now, I don't actually have a proper brow product so I just use the Matte Bronze Eyed Girl eyeshadow palette for this and the darkest shade in that one and of course my Real Techniques eyebrow brush and I just kind of fill in my brows. Obviously this shade doesn't match perfectly to my eyebrow colour but because I have really thick eyebrows it doesn't really matter and it just kind of accentuates the way they look. And I just use this fully like brush to kind of brush them out so they're not as dark and there's no excess product. To hold my eyebrows in place I use the Arbonne Eyebrow Gel and this is a really good product for people like me with really crazy thick eyebrows that move out of place if they're not held down. So definitely look into that if you do have eyebrows that you cannot keep tame. Onto my favourite part of the makeup routine, the eyeshadow! 
This is my absolute favourite eyeshadow palette. It is by Gorgeous Cosmetics and all of the colours inside are so pigmented and there is such a variety of colours inside them. You can create so many looks, so many pretty, pretty looks. And the palette that I have is the Everyday Beauty palette. So I'm taking my Real Techniques base shadow brush and my favourite shade in this palette which is called So Nice and it's this really nice orangey colour and I'm just blending this all over my eyelid. Next taking the shade next to that one called Light Bronze, I'm just blending that on the outer corner of my eyelid. Lastly, I am taking the most brown shade in this palette, and it is called Hedgehog, and I'm just blending that in the crease of my eyelid. I'm no beauty guru and I never get this right the first time so I always fix it up with my fingers which I know is not very good but I can never get it perfect so I always just kind of fix it up the way I want it. If I remember I always highlight the inner corner of my eye and under my brow bone so I'm just going back in with my Revlon Photo Ready palette and my Real Techniques Detail Brush and using the top shade I'm just highlighting in the inner corners of my eye and under my brow bone. For liner I use the Master Precise Liquid Liner by Maybelline and I really like lining my eyes on an everyday basis because I feel like it really makes them pop. I just create a really really thin line on my upper lash line and bam, that's it. Mascara, I have recently been using the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline and this just really lengthens my lashes because I really have none, like I feel like I have absolutely no lashes so it really accentuates them and I do have to do quite a few coats to really get it to kind of pop on my eyes but I don't know if that's my eyelashes but I really like this mascara and I think I'm going to keep using it. finish off my makeup look with a lip product so today I'm using the Shanghai Suzy lipstick in the shade baby honey this is a really really neutral color and it matches with everything so it is super super pretty and I love it so that was my everyday makeup routine and I really really hope that you enjoyed P.S. I am now filming on my iPhone 7, so big thumbs up for my better video quality. Yay! So that was my um, everyday makeup routine video. I hope that you liked it. It was really fun to film, and I have really, really missed filming these sit-down videos. So I definitely want to do more of them, and hopefully, hopefully um, upload weekly. I'm still going to be uploading all of my vlogs that I've from Queensland. I don't know whether it'll be like week on, week off, or like two videos a week. Probably that's a bit steep. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'll just kind of film whenever I can, hopefully pretty regularly. But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. See you later guys. Bye.